Hi everyone, it's great to see you. I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July yesterday. We were really fortunate to go visit my parents and we did a walkthrough of my mom's garden. My mom has taught me pretty much everything I know about gardening. She is just amazing. So I have some pictures that I wanna show you of her yard and just a really quick tour of my mom's garden. My mom's garden is a great example of how you can take a small area and create lots of little focal points within it and pack in a ton of flowers. Here's a little sitting area that my mom has in the front yard. You can see she has a lot of daylilies that are um, just beginning to bloom and a lot of irises that are just past blooming here. In the foreground, there's a big patch of liatris that's coming into bloom. Mom has created a lot of little pathways around her yard. So here's one in the front yard. You can see there's a lot of rose campy in there over on the left and the seed pods from the irises that you can see in that big clump right in front of you. Here's a picture of mom with some of the daily divisions that she dug up for me when we moved into this house. She is one of the reasons that the daylilies here look so fabulous. This is mom's yellow corner in the back. And these are actually the pansies that were in my front urns that mom said she would take once I switched the urns flowers. And they are just doing amazing. Um, things like that do great at my mom's house. She can bring anything back to life. Here's another little stone wall my mom has built with a bunch of daylilies behind them. And in the center of this picture, there is a bird bath that my mom has put um, petunias in. This bird bath was my grandmother's. Here's another pathway along the side of the house that my mom has climbing roses. On the fence, she has her autumn um, clematis and a ton of begonias. Begonias do really, really well for my mom. This is just a different view of their backyard and the mandevilla that she has in a large pot with bacopa around the bottom. Um, in between the stepping stones, mom usually puts down mulch here, which is what she's done this year. And it works really, really well to keep the weeds down. This is one of my favorite corners with a lot of ferns. It's very shady and coleus in the backyard. Um, my mom also does a lot of hanging planters on the fence that you can see. A great idea to really expand your growing room when you're short on space. Mom has another little sitting space at the front of the house and always has something in her window boxes to go with the season. It really is just an adorable place. Mom also wanted me to share a few of her favorite daylilies that are currently in bloom. This is Painter Poet, and it's just this lovely two-colored daylily um, with a ruffled edge. Oh, it's beautiful. This daylily is Exotic Love, also a two-color, very bright daylily. It goes very well with um, any Black-Eyed Susans, too. And then finally, one of our favorites is Pink Lemonade. Um, I think Pink Lemonade is just a pet name that one of our friends gave this daylily. I think it's just a seedling, but boy, it is beautiful and such a delicate pink with a real lime green throat. So thank you so much for joining me and my mom on this garden tour, and I'll see you in the next video.